it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little home decor haul of my recently acquired pieces. And when I look for new things for my home, I really try to source things that are a good value, meaning they don't cost an arm and a leg, but they still really give your space that elevated and designer feel. So mostly everything today is really budget friendly. If you guys are familiar with my videos, you know that I like to give you examples and show you how I style these items in my home, just so you guys can kind of get some home decorating ideas. If things are able to be linked, I will have them in the description box below. So yeah, it should be a fun video. And without further ado, let's get into the haul. Okay, so our first piece is going to be a really gorgeous faux vintage runner. And real vintage runners are super in right now. I see so many designers using them, but they cost so much. So I saw this one on Marshalls and it's a faux vintage, you know, look runner, but it to me looks to be really authentic and real. So it's just printed on there, if you guys can see. I love that it's a really neutral color and this is going to be going in our kitchen. So I did have a lighter jute rug in there from Rugs USA, which I honestly love, but I just kind of figured, you know, it's time to switch things up. We're going into a new season here. And I think just by swapping out the runner in your kitchen, you can really refresh it and make it feel kind of like a new space. And this guy was only 30 bucks. So I figured 30 bucks to kind of give the kitchen a little mini refresh. I like that this is different and a little bit darker and moodier than the lighter one that I had before. These are honestly so comfortable on your feet. I have a similar one in our master bath and that one's in the shade moss and I will link that if I can. One thing I love about it is that it's thin enough that a door can swing open over it, which is kind of hard to find sometimes, especially, you know, if you want it to be comfortable. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Great opportunity to kind of switch up the look of the kitchen. Mike, my husband's like, do we need another runner? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but it's gonna look great. Okay, so this next item is too big for me to hold right here, but I've been seeing a lot of designers using double ottomans as extra seating in living rooms. And I talked about this on my trends video, but it's usually in a place where it was previously traffic flow, but designers are kind of filling in that space a little bit more. And I love it because it adds some practical seating and it just really adds to the aesthetics of the room. So I found these really gorgeous, super affordable stools for $60 on Marshalls. And they have a little stripe detail on them. They're kind of like a linen-y fabric. I love how the legs are kind of a nod to traditional decor, but they're still really modern and really casual feeling. So they have black striped ones on Marshalls, I believe, and then navy striped ones on TJ Maxx. And I actually bought both of them because I just didn't know which one was going to look better in my space. So after putting them side by side, I kind of am more drawn to the black ones, but you can't really go wrong with either of them. They're such a good price at $60 each and they were really easy to put together. They just came with the four legs not screwed in and you just literally screw each one of them in. So it was super simple. I love these for if you want to gather around the coffee table and play a game, it just provides that extra seating and it looks really pretty. So yeah, definitely a fun one to kind of add to the aesthetics of your living room, especially if you have, you know, an open area in front of a fireplace that just kind of needs to be taken up with something. These are a really great solution to that. Okay, so this next thing I kind of briefly mentioned in one of my Christmas decorating videos, I did a little unboxing from McGee & Co, but I just wanted to include it in here because I've been moving it all around my home and it's honestly one of my new favorite home decor pieces. And it is this wooden handled object, which is what it's called online. And I absolutely love just the rustic look of this and how the wood is aged looking and you could use this for so many things you could put little mints in here on a dining table or you know a little bar area you can just use this for styling decor with some shelves you could stack this on a book just to add some visual interest to a little styling vignette um, I'm personally just going to use this right now on my console table but it has moved all around my house I've used it to just kind of sit next to a lamp just to add a little bit of something extra I really love decorating in groups of three so this is a really great piece to have if you have two larger pieces and you just need to accent it something else. I love the dark wood on this. I feel like that's a really great contrasting color to a lot of the lighter things that I have going on in my home. So definitely a really pretty piece. And this guy was 30 bucks. I got the medium size. So a bit on the pricier side for, you know, this budget haul, but I think it's one of those unique pieces that is really worth investing in and can have so many uses throughout your home and is really versatile. Okay, so this next piece was actually given to me as a birthday gift from my sister, Sarah, and I absolutely love it. So I just wanted to include it on here, but it is this coconut and honey candle from Threshold and it has that wood burning wick. So it crackles as it burns, which just really adds to the ambiance. This one smells so good, you guys. I wish you could smell it through the camera. I know scent is very subjective though. So they have a couple other scents, but one thing I really love about it is just the look. And I just love the style and design of the label. 
I think that it can go with a lot of different decor styles. It's really simple and neutral and it's a perfect size for accenting. So kind of like the wooden handled object, it's really nice to just pair with another set of two decor pieces to just kind of finish off a grouping. It would look great in a bathroom, just really calming and spa-like. And sometimes if you use candles for decor and you put them in a really small space, especially one that gets hot or you know has a lot of natural light, sometimes you just get that scent in there naturally. Like this winter I put a winter pine one in our bathroom and every time I went in there it smelled like the candle even though the candle wasn't lit. So definitely a really pretty aesthetic candle that smells amazing. Okay so these next pieces I got at Target and I mentioned in my what's new at Target video that I would kind of give you guys a review of them. So they are these really pretty faux rosemary topiaries. Now whoop brushing my hair. <laughs> now these are from the Studio McGee by Threshold line and this size is $20 and this size was $15. And I absolutely love the rustic look of these pots and mine actually got shipped in shipping but I really love how that looks honestly. So at first I was like oh dang it and then I was like I actually kind of really like that. It makes it feel like it's been you know aging outside and just out in the Tuscan sun for a really long time. So these guys had mixed reviews online. Um, some people People said that they didn't think that they looked that real. I will say if I had to pick one that looked more realistic it would be the smaller one just because in this larger one you can see the branches and then it just goes right to the green. This one they're all green so I don't know. I kind of like this one better if I had to pick but I think that they're both really pretty. I think that these are really great accent pieces to just have around your home. Again a very versatile piece could go in lots of different rooms. This would be great in a bathroom if you wanted to just pop it on a countertop or even a little stool just to to style it. I love that it's a really rustic looking plant, but it's not an olive tree. We know I love olive trees in this household, but you know, sometimes it is nice to change it up. So I have this one styled on a shelf in our bedroom. And I think just adding that little pop of greenery is really refreshing in any space. You honestly have to look at this one really hard to see if it is real or not. I think the pot looks very authentic and like it's been sitting in the sun for years. Definitely fun little versatile pieces that you could accent on a console table, shelves, bathrooms, kitchen countertops, things like that. I really like pieces that you can move around your house if you get tired of them in one spot because it kind of feels like a new piece if you put it somewhere else. So yeah, definitely a really fun, cheap piece that adds a lot of rustic charm to your space. Okay, so next I found these really pretty faux olive stems. Now I love incorporating little rustic details into my decor. It's not overwhelmingly rustic or anything, so these can totally go in a beachy themed home, mid-century modern, lots of styles can go really well with rustic olive stems in my opinion and these are from Etsy there were six of them and I believe it was $23 for all six so not a bad deal I got two sets of six so 12 total and I figured these are really great for mixing in arrangements or just putting in a vase in maybe a living room or you know on a kitchen counter or something like that they're really pretty statement pieces and they're really long I honestly had to bend them to put them into the vase so you know you could have a lot of them in a taller vase if you wanted to make more of a statement. I think that the leaves look really realistic. I personally like olive stems that don't have olives on them. I just like the kind of simple look without the olives so I like that they don't have any and you know I'm just gonna use these in my living room for now and I think I'm gonna save some for doing some DIY spring arrangements which will be really fun but definitely a fun one to have to kind of switch around the house as well. Really pretty statement face filler and I just love how affordable they were. Okay so this next piece I talked about in my dupes video but I kind of wanted to go into a little bit more detail and it is these gorgeous faux vintage pommel horse stools. So I talked about this on my dupes video that a lot of these high-end designers have been using stools that look like this with that double ottoman trend and I saw some on Amber Interiors who's actually the author of Made for Living if you guys are familiar with that book. There have been really similar ones that I've seen on vintage sites for in the three to five thousand dollar range and these guys were only a hundred dollars so I bought mine on Amazon. I think there's a couple other places you can get them. These are going to be upstairs in our game room and I love the contrast that this dark rich leather has. I think that these are really interesting and unique and that's what really makes them feel designer and expensive. They also would look really great as footstools maybe with an upholstered chair. You could just put them at the base of each one if you had a set of two. I think that would look really cool as well. So definitely a really fun piece that can add a lot of personality to your space for not a lot of money. 
Okay, so I absolutely love adding faux trees to my rooms. I feel like they really help finish off a space and just kind of bring the outdoors in. And even though they're faux, they can really look realistic with the ones that are on the market nowadays. And I love that I don't have to take care of them and that they're practical because they can go in places that have low light or otherwise wouldn't be great growing conditions or just a plant that I wouldn't have been able to have in my home and in my climate. So the one I recently got was from Target and it was $170. And I know that kind of sounds pricey, but when you compare that to everything else that's out there, Target has some of the best prices around for faux trees. And when you have a statement piece like this, you're gonna have to invest a little bit. And this is a really gorgeous ficus tree. I think the front of these leaves look super duper realistic. Now the undersides don't in my opinion, but I was able to kind of arrange it in a way where all of the tops were showing. It's really bendable and flexible and the trunk looks super duper real too in my opinion. I love that it's something different than an olive tree, which is something that I have all over my home, but it still really has that rustic look. Also something that Target faux trees have the advantage on that a lot of other sellers don't is that they come in a gorgeous pot already. So a lot of the things out on the market right now are just trees that you have to put in your own pot. So you kind of save a lot of money there too because a large statement pot isn't cheap either. So I love the pot that this one comes in. It has that really rustic look, but it still can go with a lot of different decor styles. And something that I really like about this one is that it's a skinnier pot. So if you want to elevate it a little bit and make it even more of a statement and appear taller, you can totally do that. You can get a larger stool and just pop it on there, which is actually what I did in our upstairs room, just so it almost reaches the ceiling and makes a lot bigger of a statement than if you didn't elevate it. Definitely a really fun, unique piece that is definitely worth the investment as well. And you can kind of hippity hop to other rooms if you want it to. Um, I like to kind of switch my trees out over time in different rooms and just swap them from room to room So it kind of keeps things feeling fresh and this is one that I'm really excited to have in my rotation All right, you guys that really concludes today's home decor haul. I hope that you enjoyed I want to thank you all so much for watching and if this video was entertaining Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe I really really appreciate all of you guys who have supported my channel. It really means so much to me Thank you again so much and I will see you all in my next video Video. Bye!